Morning, sir. Can I help you? Uh, yes. It's, uh... Well, I scarcely know how to start. I, um, I want to hang it, you see. Hang it, sir? Yes, that's it. I want to hang the cabinet. Hang the cabinet, sir? A bit drastic, surely. <laughs> no, I'm bound to say, there are times. Yes, but there's nothing to hang it with, you see. Or on. Just, just sort of small ears at the back, like a, like a loving cup, you know. Ah, that sort of cabinet, sir. In the bathroom. I see, sir. What seems to be the trouble, then? Well, how does one? How does one, sir? Yes. Hang it up. Is it tiled, sir? Oh, no, no. Just a sort of uh, box. Wood, I think, with, with doors. Uh, no, sir. The wall. Is it a tiled wall? No, no, no. Just a wall, sort of wall. Ah. And then you'll need to plug it, sir. Plug it? The cabinet? The wall, sir. You'll need to plug the wall. Oh. Oh, I see. Plug the wall. Yes. Uh, how does one? Plug the wall, sir. Easy. You'll need to use a jump drill. A jump drill? That's right, sir. Do you have such a thing as a jump drill? Well, no, I don't believe I have. Right here, sir. That's uh, one pound seventy-five. Oh, yes, a jump drill. I'm afraid I... It's quite simple, sir. You put the bit in a drill like this, you see, and then you make the hole in the wall. Ah, but... You strike the end of the drill here, you see. Strike the end of the drill? Uh, with a hammer. Turning the drill round as you do so. Oh, strike the other end? Oh, no, sir. Just turn it round in your hand, like this, so that it doesn't bind. Bind. W with a hammer, you say? Uh, yes, sir. I, uh, I don't believe I uh, have... I have a very good one here, sir. Uh, Two pounds fifty. Oh, I see. Yes. Then when you drill the wall, you put in a plug. A plug? Well, aren't they the things with three prongs, sort of? Or sometimes two? Uh, I'm, I'm not very good with electricity, I'm afraid. Oh, no, sir. Not that sort of plug. Oh, good. Oh, no. This is a wall plug. I see. Then when you drill your hole, you put in the plug, you see? I take it you don't have plugs. Uh, no, no, I don't believe so. A screwdriver? Well, no. How about screws? Well, no. Ah. Perhaps I'd better get a man. Oh, no, no, no. No need for that, sir. Uh, do it yourself in no time, with the right tools. Really? Shall I pass them up for you? Yes, yes, I suppose, sir. Right, sir. Now, let's see. Uh, jump drill, hammer, spare plug, screwdriver and screws. One and a quarter inch tens, I think. Perhaps a few eights as well, in case the shanks are too thick. Shanks, <laughs> of course. Yeah. There we are, sir. Everything you need. One pound seventy-five, two fifty is four twenty-five, plugs forty pence, screwdriver one fifty, screws twenty oh, and um. twenty is forty pence. Six fifty-five altogether, sir. Oh. One pound note, and three forty-five change. And thank you, sir. Ah, yes. Uh, Tring here. Tring? Lucius Tring. You sold me a drill thing this morning. Ah. For hanging the cabinet. Ah, yes, of course. Everything all right, Mr. Tring? Got the cabinet up? I'm afraid I can't get it to work. Can't get it to work, sir? This drill thing. What seems to be the trouble, sir? Well, it doesn't seem to make holes. Just a mess. I see, sir. Well, they are a problem sometimes, walls. Don't make them like they used to, you know. <laughs> yes, but, but what do I do? A hand drill? Ah. You don't have one? Well, I have this one. The one you sold me. Oh, no, sir. That's a jump drill. Ah. No, a hand drill. One that you turn with a geared wheel at the side. You know, you've probably seen one. I don't believe I have. I think you might get on better with one. Oh, good. Shall I put one on one side for you? Uh, well, well yes. Uh, how much are they? We have several models, sir. Various prices. Perhaps you'd like to come in and select one. Very well. It's gone through. Um, who's that speaking? Tring. Lucius Tring. It's gone through. Oh, Mr. Tring. Gone through, sir? Yes, his drill thing. He's gone through the wall. Ah. And not to worry, sir. You've obviously hit the mortar line between the bricks. Bricks? Yes. The layer of mortar between two bricks. You need to drill a little higher up or to one side, or lower down, if you like, into the bricks. Um, there aren't any bricks. No bricks, sir. It's a sort of thick... Cardboard. Thick cardboard. Oh, you mean plasterboard, Mr. Tring. 
Is that it? That's right. Nothing to worry about. The hole can easily be filled in with cellulose filler. Cellulose? Just think small holes. Small holes? That's right, sir. Just the job. It's about three feet square. Three feet square? Ah, you've broken the plasterboard. Oh, is that it? That's right, Mr. Tring. You've got what we call a stud petition. Stud? Plasterboards fastened to the head and the plate at two foot centers. Really? You'll need to replace the whole board. The whole board? That's right, sir. Of course, you might shorten the existing board and make a borrowed light. Borrowed light? Yes, sir. A sort of interior window, getting light in from one room to another. Yes, but look here. I don't want a window between the bathroom and the kitchen. The kitchen, sir? Yes, I live in a bachelor flat on the first floor. I see. Well, if it's a question of privacy, Mr. Tring, you could always use frosted glass. But all I want to do is hang the cabinet. <laughs> Very well, sir. Uh, you'll need to replace the board in that case. Replace it? That's right, sir. You'll need to remove the old board entirely and then replace it with a new one. Nine by four, Mr. Tring, standard size. I'll come and get it. Oh, you've got transport, sir? Transport? You need a roof rack, sir. Roof rack? On the car. But I don't have a car. I think I'd better deliver it for you, Mr. Tring. Next Tuesday, all right? Next Tuesday? But look, I say, I've got a great hole between the bathroom and the kitchen. I could send in special delivery, perhaps. Oh, good. There'll be an extra charge, of course. Oh, very well. Very good, sir. Oh, do you have cloud nails? Cloud? For nailing the board to the upright, sir. No. Oh, no. I have a hammer. I'll send them with the board, sir. This afternoon, then.